We love you, Kevin. I'm talking to Kevin Mitnick, the world's most famous hacker. He passed away on July 16, 2023, a few weeks before turning 60, which would have been on August 6th during the Black Hat USA 2023 conference in Las Vegas. Kevin visited the Cybercrime Magazine studio and shared his favorite hack with us, which took place when he was 16 years old. What I worked out at 16 years old is actually how to take over McDonald's drive-up windows. So when a customer would drive up, rather than get the guy inside with the headset, they'd get me. So customers would drive up and they'd place their typical order. I'd say, you're the hundredth customer today. Your order is absolutely free. Please drive forward. And then other people would drive up and I could see clearly into the car because I'm across the street and um, they place their typical order, Big Macs, Quarter Pounders, fries, apple pies, cherry pies, you know, all the low calorie items, right? And I could see if they were overweight, right? Because I could see in the car. So I, if they were overweight, I'd say, well, based on the make, model, and weight of the vehicle and the weight of the occupants, I suggest you change your order to the McSalad. But my hands down favorite is when the cops would drive up. Hide the cocaine, hide the cocaine. So this manager of the McDonald's runs out into the parking lot and he's trying to figure out who's messing with the system. He's looking all around, doesn't see a thing. He actually looks into some of the cars. No one's in the car. And he eventually walks over to the McDonald's drive up window speaker, bends over and peers inside as if somebody's hiding in the speaker. And I key down my radio and go, what the hell are you looking at? And this guy flies back about five feet. So I think hands down, 16 years old, favorite hack. Kevin was a teenage whiz kid, a phone freak, a black hat, the FBI's most wanted hacker, a fugitive, a prisoner, a citizen banned from using computers, a rehabilitated white hat with his computer privileges restored, a keynote speaker, a trainer, a high profile penetration tester, and an author. Kevin was proud to be chief hacking officer at Note Before. Kevin enjoyed a special relationship with Know Before and its founder and CEO, Stu Showerman. We'll miss you, Kevin, but we'll never stop listening to you. You taught us about phone freaking, dumpster diving, and the history of hacking. We love you, Kevin. Well, those of us who knew Kevin, it's very heartbreaking. I feel very strongly. So many good things he brought into our lives, jokes, humor, entertainment, just aspects of the world, things going on. Kevin brought so much good into the world and... That's why I did Forward's first books. To me, hacking was never about causing harm. It was all about learning how to do things that challenge the seduction of adventure and learning new information. <laughs>